Hey guys, what's going on here? We're back with another Madden Ultimate Team video and I got a great one for you today. We've worked hard and we've got a few new legends for you guys. To start, we've got the brand new Larry Allen. In our scheme with the team chemistry of power run, we've got him up to a 91 overall along with David Deal, which is absolutely incredible. It's great to have two 91 overall guards that really helps dominate on the interior of the line to move those big D tackles. But uh, the other big legend I want to show to you guys on the offense to show is Jerome Bettis. We went and got rid of Warwick Dunn. And uh, we're going to run a two power back set right now with Eddie George and Jerome Bettis. And my big thought behind this is with this scheme of the offense we run, I think in the long run, running a Steelers theme team behind it will make a big difference because we'll get the bonuses and uh, speed and everything. And because of how team chemistry works this year, we actually switched Eddie George so we get the Steelers chemistry on him because he can get any team's chemistry. So we did the exchange set. So we have him and Jerome Bettis. And even though Lamar is not a Steeler, we're going to wait until Michael Vick comes out. And then when he comes out, we're going to get Michael Vick and throw Steelers chemistry on him. And then we're really going to, once that happens, then we're really going to put time into getting a main Steelers kind of theme team. But we're not going to only do Steelers. We're still going to try and work on a great team. But it will mainly be the backup positions that get filled. But we'll try to get at least 25 if hopefully we can get 50 players uh, for Steelers cam. It would be pretty nice. Uh, to get plus two speed, but otherwise I think it'll be a really good team. The Rod Woodson just came out too, so I think Steelers chemistry is going to be really good this year, honestly. Uh, in case you guys want to see too, we also got Troy Vincent at corner and Richard Seymour. Uh, we play, he's in the way, he's at end. Uh, you see Aaron Donalds on here, we actually play him at D-tackle, but these are two absolute ballers we got for the team. I gotta say, honestly, Richard Seymour is one of my favorite players now. I know it's weird because he's a D-tackle, but he stands out so much. He is massive, and you see on the field at 6'6", uh, 310, he's absolutely massive, and he plays so great in the run game, always uh, stuffing the holes. It's really good. That's what she said. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, honestly, the defense is still the same, pretty much otherwise. Uh, so it'll be a good game, guys. We got great gameplay for you today, so let's get into it. Alrighty guys, this is his top three here. Lamar Jackson, 89. 89 Andre Johnson, 89 Christian McCaffrey. Pretty good top three. That's our top three. It's looking absolutely baller. I want to tell you guys also, we've changed some of the abilities around. Uh, uh, quite a few on defense, so I can't remember them all. But a big one on offense is um, we've gone around. We've thrown closer on Lamar Jackson. So in the second half, it's a lot easier to get uh, the big trust X factor. It's only six rushes uh, once the uh, second half starts. So it's... Um, pretty close to getting most of the time in these games now since i've added it i'm usually getting it right after like the two minute warning in the fourth quarter so we're close i'm hoping to get it a bit sooner but some of the other games when i get it sooner guys will just quit at that point so we're hoping to do good with it and uh, the other big one is we took nasty streak off david deal and moved it to larry allen because our right guard usually gets to the backers so much more in our run plays and larry allen is such much more of a dominant lineman uh he's definitely the best lineman in the game so uh, he'll get the most he'll be able to get the most pancakes by far. He'll have the most dominant wins Okay, this guy's coming on a 4-4. Four four. That's interesting. We're gonna run the uh, power G against it Okay, I like it I'm gonna see if he's gonna leave the a gaps unplugged and we're gonna see if we can get anything up the middle with Bettis here Not much of a gain there. It's kind of unfortunate only a yard we're gonna go with the Owen trap here to Eddie George. He's not showing us. Get I hops all you can eat pancakes. Look at that. Larry free. Allen getting a pancake on his user. Absolutely incredible block. We better get the first down on that. Fourth and inches, big plays coming on the 4 4. We're gonna go triple here. I'm thinking just to give it your own best if Gronkowski gets a good block on the outside linebacker. Yeah, we showed the first down for sure here, boys. We're gonna get a lot of extra at your own best. And that's a beautiful game. I told 4-4 four is really easy to run option against. So if he wants to stay in that defense, I'm going to wait to run option because I want to make him think that defense is pretty good. Suck him into it for a bit. Let him get me those fourth downs. But I know I can run a lot of my option against it. Outside there, Jerome. That's painful. That's where his speed kind of hurts. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. They go play action with Jackson. 
That's a dot to Mark Clank. Freaking laser beam! Still coming on the pistol here, boys. He's sticking with this 4-4 uh, defense. I think I'm going to try and hit him with the screen here. He's uh, using that Ronnie Law and seems to play aggressive down the line. So I'm hoping I'm going to hit him with the screen here. I don't think he sees it. He's actually using the D-line there, which is really surprising. That makes a real... Like, I don't know why he's using the D-lineman. That's really weird. But uh, we're actually going to go out from pistol. We can go to pistol strong now. So uh, we can run option to the other side. Alrighty, second quarter, here we go. We're coming down pistol strong. We just have same formation, just drone best, switches sides here. I'm mean, gonna go power option to the right off his outside linebacker. Eddie George hopefully gets a good pitch here. Wow, we're getting no blocking to the outside. That was pretty bad. I think he's switching to like a nickel defense here. This will be a lot different. Hoping if we hold our blocking. Drone best fights, that should be a first down. Please give me it. Thank you. Before they gave us the fourth and inches in the drive here, they're actually going to give us a first down. Here we're going to go with the fake jet to Eddie George here. See if he falls for it. Yep, he's the user fell for it. There we go. And Eddie George is going to fight for us. What's the flag though? What's the flag? Holding. No. That kills us, guys. We got a holding call there after that big game. That really does hurt us. Okay, we're gonna go with the actual jet here after we just got that big game we're gonna see what he does if we run an actual jet sweep here wow eddie george i usually make a block there man you're killing me Oh, I was hoping Mark Clinton keep going to the end zone. Because I'm blind. That was horrible on me. Get up, Lamar. Stop just watching him go. Oh, my God. Give it right back to me, though, Trey Wayne. The interception. I don't know if he meant to hit McCaffrey there. But that was really good. I'm we're able to get the ball right back here. We have to punch this in the end zone. No more mistakes, guys. We can't be doing this kind of stuff. We gotta we gotta focus up here. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half. One that's Jerome Bettis. Jerome Bettis with room to the outside. Come on, one guy left. Jerome to the end zone. Let's go. Jerome Bettis on the touchdown, boys, for the long run on the triple option. That's how we do it. And now we still have a 7-0 lead. Two minutes left in the half. That's how you run option football. We killed the entire first half. He That first play was his first play. He's barely touched the ball. We've played great football so far to start, except for that one interception. Hoping we can lock up here on defense again. That would be the nice plan. And he's going to hit us with a low ball there. Andre Johnson, that hurts. I think there's a little curl route he had there. It's a good dot. And that's wide open. He had his tight end open. I went to cover that in the quick stop, but he hits me with Andre Johnson over the middle. Hoping Steve Atwater can man up his Andre Johnson. Oh, and he's got us on the corner. Well, wow, he's quicked on us here in this drive. I don't know what that first pick was, but he's turned himself right around. Wow, we get a big play there on the goal line there. Really lucky. I, he had the dot to us on his tight on the play action there. RPO, but... We get a great animation there with our linebacker and are able to jar it loose. I'm saying the QB spy with Sam Mills. I, if he runs the same with Lamar Jackson, I'm going to be very upset. We have his receiver on the outside, manned up. It's a run up the middle, and we're there with our defense. Steve Atwater on the user. Let's go! We're able to get a big pick with Sam Mills in the end zone. That was an absolutely big play by Sam Mills there. Way to lock up on the running back. And, hey, if we get a big play here, we might be able to get quick points before the half. We got a big run with Eddie George. Eddie George is able to bust it. 
We might take this for a touchdown right at the end of the half. The clock's at zero, and Eddie George is going to the end zone. I don't know what he came in there. We came out in the Dun Gundy's formation, but I don't know what he was thinking there, guys. He brought everyone down to the line, but it was in like a dime or nickel formation. We got, yeah, it was in a big dime formation. We got great blocking there, and Eddie George was able to take that to the house. We go into half the 14 nothing lead. That is absolutely incredible, guys. Smack a like for this content. We are heating it up this game. This is a great game. I hope you guys are loving it. We are running great option football and are running all over the field on this guy. Come on, we got a quick kill coming down the field. There we go. We're able to get a big hit stick with Preston Smith. Uh, that's only one of five to get his X Factor, so hopefully we can get a few more of those because Momentum Shift is actually a pretty good X Factor. It came with the card, and I didn't have much training to put uh, anything else on my other defensive players, so I just threw that in there. And if you're able to activate, that's actually pretty good because it can wipe the progress of everyone else on the opponent's side of the field. So on uh, his offense, that would actually be a really good thing if we could activate. I am thinking he's going to want to run here with McCaffrey, honestly, even though this is a heavy pass formation. I'm um, trying to man up that inside slot receiver. Watch that tight end on the slant. That's what's going to hurt me. Send him the spot. Oh, what was that playmaker? Playmakers are a lot better this year. Like, you don't even need the ability. Like, look at that cut. You don't... You don't need to get the playmaker ability when you can get your guys to cut on that kind of an angle. Come on. Oh my god, Tyron Matthew. You, you short man. You could have just stood up and picked it. Why did you give me that animation? Pick and you're going to do that to us? Like, come on. You're killing me, man. Let's go. Yeah, he quick tight us there, and we weren't able to make our adjustments. That really hurts, honestly. He's got an X Factor on the other Johnson. I don't know if it's double me that he has activated, or what is it? Oh, secure protect. Oh, it's possession, possession catches. Okay. His receiver just slipped in the middle of the field, so I don't know what happened there. We were able to man up that Andre Johnson, so I don't think that would have been open. Uh, Steve Atwood would played great coverage there on him, but I don't know what is going on. Well, I don't know why his receiver slipped there. It's not raining or anything. We're in Miami, so that's really weird that that just happened. I've never seen, like, I haven't seen that where they slipped in the middle of the field. What a... Idiot. Oh, and I whiff on a hit stick and <sighs> Hoping Honor Johnson can make a big catch for us there on the corner out. Running the O on trap here up the middle, hoping we can get blocking. Ah, uh, his D tackle. Oh, yeah, Merlin also is able to throw our um, guard right off him. I truly don't think he's going to be expecting this beater. I think we're going to be able to hit him with it. I don't know if he's going to be playing deep half of his corners, but I really hope he's not here. Second and 14. Let's see if we can find Mark Lane on a deep row here, because that would be great. We got a lot of room up front. We're going to step up with Lamar, and we got room, baby. We got room to take off, and now we're going to bring it to a third and short. This is perfect. This is exactly the kind of situation we like to be in. Fourth down, third and one. Here we go. I don't know what he's going to run here. If this is the look, if we get a block on Vaughn Miller, I may try and keep this and go to the outside. We're not going to get a block on Vaughn. I'm going to go for the pitch with Eddie George. He's just a DB out there, and we're able to pick up the first down. Absolutely perfect. His DB backed off, so I knew I'd be able to execute a pull and pitch there, even though his Vaughn didn't get blocked. So that was really good. We get great blocking by everyone involved. Now we're just going to try and slow the game down anymore. We're now in field goal range. We're just trying to kill this clock and really milk it down as much as we can. The nice thing about this though is because we have so many tight ends, we're able to get a fullback on the field and uh, not one, not two, but actually three tight ends out on the field for this formation. So we're able to get great blocking most of the time and having Eddie George will break the first tackle is also a great benefit with it. You want to hit him with screens or big passes and it usually works out pretty well. We're going to try and hit him with the power again. Fight Eddie George for me. Even if we gained a yard there, I don't know if we did, but still pretty good. Third and two. We're still trying to kill a bit of clock here. 
We're gonna go into a gun wing. I don't think we've ran this for no, we haven't ran this formation yet. I'm thinking if I run this uh, quarterback power, we're gonna have the blocking. I'm hoping we do. Lamar's able to stretch for the first down. Great gain there by Lamar. Oh, that was great. We're able to pick up the first down. That one's gonna hurt him a lot. I know he's gonna be upset to have to deal with that. But great, great play by Lamar. Gun uh, wide trips weak. I find I'm able to get a good read option and an inverted beer in it. I have some good passing plays. I'm going to go with the read option here. See if we can get. Okay, we're going to cut it back up the middle. Drone best. Drone best is a big hole at the middle. And we're just actually. Oh, we don't want to dive. We're actually. We tried to fall down there. I didn't want to dive like that. Because I'm thinking I just want to kick a field goal and kill clock here. And he actually quits the game, guys. He knew what we were trying to do. Um. Fortunately, I guess we counted as a dub though. That's as close to a full game as we're gonna get in this channel apparently. So I hope you guys are entertained. Uh, please like and subscribe below. Uh, I'm gonna be bringing out more content. If you guys show uh, love on the channel, I'm gonna try and bring out more daily content or at the very least every other day. I won't try and have these three and four day gaps. But uh, please like and subscribe below. Show love, comment below. Uh, what do you guys want to see? What kind of gameplay do you want? And if there's any new running backs that come out or running backs that you want to see in this offense, let me know and I'll test them in the option. And then when I go to dives and stuff, I'll put them as the primary back. So let me know. What do you guys want to see? Comment below and please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.